One of the biggest challenges we have when it comes to sending files with attachments is the size of the message. We may be able to send it, our recipients may be able to receive it, but then again, maybe not. There are some restrictions. When we take photos with a digital camera or scan them, for example, we often use whatever settings are currently selected, which can often mean images are just huge and they possibly can cause undeliverable errors. It can be very frustrating, especially if we don't work with images that much and we don't know how to use other software to resize them. Not to mention that it just takes time to do that as an extra step and we end up with multiple copies of exactly the same file, which just congests our computer. I personally have enough stuff already on my computer that I don't need to add a lot of copies just because they're different sizes. But the good news is we should have no fear because Outlook and Windows are both looking out for us when it comes to resizing images on the fly as part of sending them via email. Did you know that we can send email with a specific attachment without ever going into Outlook? It's one of those cool little time-saving things that I think not a lot of people have ever stumbled across. So I wanted to show that to you first. All we have to do is use Windows Explorer or File Explorer as it's called in Windows 8 or open any folder that we have that has our image. I'm gonna be working with the Working Files folder that I happen to have on the desktop and I'm gonna go into the Chapter 3 subfolder. There's an image here called Nature Death Valley Footprints in the Dunes. And because I'm looking at this in the detailed view, I can see that it's 3,703 kilobytes or 3.7 megabytes. Now that's not awful, but it is getting pretty big, especially to send via a personal or a business email system. So we wanna go ahead and send this picture in an email, but make it smaller. All we have to do is right click on any image, move down and choose the send to option, and while we may have worked with some of these before, for example, like sending it to a compressed or zip folder, many people overlook that at the very bottom, there's an option to send it to a mail recipient. By clicking or tapping this option, a little box comes up. Now we may not always see this box. If this is already a very small image, this box will not appear, but this is not a small image. And so we now have the option to size it from smaller, small, medium, large, or we could also choose to say, leave it at whatever size it originally was. We aren't concerned about the quality of this image. We're just trying to show it to somebody and not really worried about them printing it on an 11 by 17 piece of paper. So we're going to choose smaller 640 by 480. That's pixels, by the way. It now tells us that the estimated size is down to just 90 kilobytes instead of almost 4,000 kilobytes. Then all we have to do is click or tap attach and an email message comes up and it gives us some information about this. Your message is ready to send with the following link or attachment, then go ahead and finish composing this message as appropriate. How easy is that? We also can see, by the way, that it was even a little bit wrong. It's actually down to 21 kilobytes. That's amazing. Now we're not gonna send it this time, so we're going to go ahead and just close out of this email. If prompted, we are not gonna save changes, and we're also going to close out of the folder that we had open. Now we're going to go ahead and launch Outlook. I already had Outlook open, so I'm just going to go ahead and do an Alt tab. Now let's take a look at the second way we can resize images on the fly. This is done using the same processes we already used to just compose a message. We're gonna click or tap new email. We're going to use the attach file option and navigate back to our chapter three working files folder. And we're going to select the Death Valley picture. Now you're probably saying, well, wait a second, I'm looking at this picture and it's four megabytes. And you're absolutely right, but we're not quite finished yet. From within an Outlook message, here's the technique that I wanted to show you. If we click or tap on the file tab, and if we have a large image, we will see an image attachments option that's added to the normal settings that we see. We have the option to either leave it as it is and not resize it, or we can say resize large images when I send the message. What this is going to do is something that's not really specific. It's going to reduce the images so they will be a maximum of 1024 by 768. They might be smaller, they might be in different proportions, but with this one we don't have quite as much control as we do with the send to command, but it still is going to simplify our message. That's all we have to do. Once we get that set and say, yes, we want to resize it, then we can simply back out of the backstage view and go about composing our message. I'm just gonna send this to Michael himself so we can see what happens. 
We'll call it Resized Image. We'll send it to Michael Brooks, and we'll click on Send. In just a second or two, Michael gets his own message. And if we click or tap on this and look over into the reading pane, we can see that indeed the original 3.7 megabyte file has been reduced to 42 kilobytes. That's exactly what we wanted to have happen. For those of us who don't work with images very often, but do need to email them, this is a true streamlining of an otherwise very complicated workflow. We don't have to have special software, and we certainly don't have to know how to use it. All we have to do is either send to an email recipient or attach files in the normal way and use the Backstage View in Outlook to optimize our images.